Hello there. It really seems that every new car that comes out is an SUV. I don't know why, I swear. But this new Cadillac Escalade has something to it. Maybe because I like the old one so much. Anyway, today we will go over everything that changed, everything that stayed the same, and what's up with the engine. Stay tuned and have fun. The new and improved Escalade is very much like the old one. It's big, really big and comfy inside. But first let's take a look at the outside. From the outside everybody knows already that this thing is a Cadillac. And if you get the long wheel version, then it's even more obvious to the untrained eye. The long wheel version enables you to put 7 seats in, or only 6, but more on that later. The front is so massive that if you get hit by this car, the only thing you will see is the Cadillac badge. And maybe it's also the last thing you will see. The base version without all-wheel drive will set you back about $70,000 and the top trim version with 7 seats goes for around $100,000. Now let's head right to the interior. What did you expect? We get a lot of space, I mean a lot. The front seats are separated by this huge center console in the middle, which has enough room to put stuff in, it has a wireless charging port and some USB-C ports too. The driver gets this two-screen setup and they both are touch screens, a smaller one for the driver and a bigger one for everything else like navigation and climate control. Also we have some physical buttons down there if you like that mode of controlling better. In the back you have the choice, either get the bench with one passenger space more or get the two individual chairs for more comfort. They aren't as luxurious as in the new Maybach GLS but still very good. Video of the new Maybach here. The choice is yours, but if you have the long wheel version then you have two more seats in the back with decent legroom and headroom. I was really impressed because normally these seats are not that great for adults to sit in. But here it's no problem. Also the third row has cup holders and USB-C ports. So why wouldn't you get the better two seat option? Plus you have two touch screens on the back of each front seat and individual climate control for the back. Then there is also a trunk with decent space. But then these seats are all electronically operated and can be folded down by the press of a button. With all seats folded down you have over 3500 liters of space. That sounds quite enough. For the engine there is again a choice to make. One 3 liter straight 6 diesel engine, but who wants that? And then there is a 6.2 liter V8, yeah that's what you want. It has 420 horsepower and 623 newton meters of torque. It can reach a top speed of 130 miles per hour via a 10 speed automatic transmission and via a 4 wheel drive system if you got the $3000 all wheel drive upgrade. 0 to 60 time is not that important in cars such as this, but with 4.6 seconds it's not that bad. Not bad at all. And here are some features I would like to point out. Firstly, you need something to climb into this 2.7 ton monster, therefore we have running boards. On the inside the sound system must be great, because you have 19 speakers all around and also some inside the headrest. We get a heads up display with augmented reality, that just means it will project warning signs and other things onto the road to help you guide around. The rear view mirror is also a display connected to a camera in the back, so rear visibility is always great. Air suspension and adaptive dampers are also standard, and if you want you can get the fridge inside the center console which comes with a freezer mode, if you need that kind of thing in a car. What the new Escalade doesn't have is rear wheel steering and that would be nice to have in such a big and long car. So apart from the missing rear wheel steering, I like the new Escalade very much. I see it already featured in nearly every Hollywood movie to come. What's your take on the new Cadillac Escalade? Tell me also what you want to see next, have a great rest of the day. And as always, keep it floor.